Pirate Scout here, back again with another unboxing video. Now, if you're like me, you've probably found that printers are often, it's often cheaper to buy a new printer than it is to buy new ink. Now, I'm always looking for a great deal, and I found this printer online. Check the link within this video's description, and you can find where to order this printer. This is just the unboxing video. It's not intended to be a review or a demonstration. I'm just taking it out of the box because I'm curious what's in the box. And I'm sure you are too. So this is the Canon Pixma 4, uh, sorry, Canon Pixma MX492. Uh, quite a heavy printer. I mean, obviously something you probably wouldn't want to be carrying around to multiple locations. But for my office setup, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be optimal. Let's go ahead and get into the box here and see what we've got. Uh, so immediately I'm greeted with... Uh, a getting started guide. We'll refer to that uh, in a separate video. Again, this is just the unboxing video. Packaging material. Uh, looks like there may be some stuff in here. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we have a power cable. We have a phone cable. Interesting. Oh, there is ink. There's a color ink cartridge. And then there's a black ink cartridge. Now, all I intend to use is black because I'm going to use it for that sort of printing. If I need to print photos or something, I'm going to print on the internet. It's just so much more cost effective and uh, usually better quality. So let's go ahead and flip this over and get this thing out and see what we got here. styrofoam got some more documentation feels like there may be a CD in there it amuses me that they still package things with CDs considering most computers now don't even have optical drives uh, and ultimately by the time you get it on the CD it's probably obsolete driver anyway so you're probably going to need to download one from the internet but here's the printer right here uh, pretty, you know, if you're if you're used to the competitors' offerings, uh, often I use HP uh, just because I could get them dirt cheap and you know use them until they until they broke or I got a new one that was cheaper than replacement ink. But the design of this seems to be very nice. It doesn't seem to be cheap. I mean, obviously the price tag was super. It was a super low price point, but the build quality seems to be sufficient for. For my intended purpose of printing an occasional email every few months or so, hopefully this will fit the bill. It's got these things right here. You can take the little plastic tabs off. Um, oh, that little piece right there just came out. And it's labeled on this side. Let me see if I can flip it around so you can see it. It says color and black. So you can see you know, which ink cartridge goes where. Uh, from a design perspective, in my opinion, first impressions, uh, highly intuitive. You know, printers are often a frustrating thing for people to deal with, even people that have a uh, technologically savvy mentality. So, uh, yeah, this pops up. Wow. Okay, so far so good. Again, just the unboxing video. I wanted to show you what came in the box. Again, not intended to be a review or a demonstration, just an unboxing video. So again, power cable, phone cable, black ink, and color ink. And I like how they have these wrapped in like a plastic thing, so hopefully the ink won't be dried out. That's always annoying if you get a new printer and it's dried out. But uh, yeah, that's it. Again, this is the Canon Pixma. Uh, check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order it online. And be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash IRICSKY. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, IRICSKY here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.